It's helpful to think as a teacher and, and even to talk to the older students about how with math and science we don't understand everything the first time and you have to do math problems over and over and over again and, you, and it takes a lot of practice to learn math and art is no different. Um, a lot of times the students feel like uh, you draw something one time and that's it and you move on. And um, I hope that uh, by incorporating some of these techniques that both you and the students will really enjoy art and enjoy practicing art. And, and the idea of practicing art can really take the pressure off of um, trying to make every, every drawing perfect. So instead of saying, okay, we're gonna draw, let's, let's draw a gnome, let's just go, um, it, it, like I was saying before, it's important to start with the color. We found that um, that if if the child can live into the imagination of of a story and get those images living inside them, that it's easier for those those images to come out um, on the paper. And you can push push nice and hard. Forget with the with the crayons that um, that you really have to push hard. It's uh, it's, this is also an exercise in uh, strength and dexterity for uh, for the young children. Starting by, we're going to start by shading a, a, a big curve, which uh, which the young students are used to shading um, straight lines and curved lines. Uh, and as they learn the alphabet, they learn how those straight lines and curved lines uh, come together to form all of the letters. Uh, and this this is a, a simple but fun landscape. And my challenge to you is to is is for you and and your uh, your student or students to draw this particular landscape or landscapes like it um, in each season, uh, which is a great way of uh, when you're studying the seasons or studying time or or weather to incorporate a little bit of art into that study and a way to practice um, drawing the same thing and bringing new life uh, to the same same drawing. Get some practice in.